Our superset's good for building muscle. What's bad about it? Don't you want to look good naked? With supersets, let's first define what a superset is. So a superset is simply just doing two exercises back to back. So it can be a superset where you're doing the same muscle group, so that's known as an agonist superset, or a superset where it's an opposing muscle group, so antagonist superset. In terms of supersets for building muscle or in terms of using supersets to build muscle, I think they have their place, but we have to make sure that we're doing it in a strategic way or we're implementing it in our programming in a strategic way. We need to make sure that the main thing we're focusing on is progressive overload over time. In order to focus on that, we need to make sure we're able to track our movements over time, track the amount of reps we're doing, the amount of weight we're doing, and really focus in on some of those core movements that we can build over the course of our training program and you know the month, the year, et cetera. Supersets are something that I think can be great when it comes to a time savings perspective, and that would be more so those antagonistic supersets. So maybe combining biceps and triceps or quads and hamstrings, those are gonna be opposing muscle groups. And you can incorporate supersets to basically save time. And that's really one of the ways that I use it in my programming is ju to just save you a little bit of time in the gym if you wanna be super efficient. So with same muscle group supersets, I like to incorporate those more so at the end of the workout. And you can do things like bicep curls where you're just shifting the angle of your hand. So maybe you're doing hammer curls supersetted with bicep curls. So you're just changing your grip angle or maybe you're changing the position of your shoulder when you're doing triceps. So doing overhead versus at your side. There's lots of different ways to implement same muscle supersets, but we need to make sure that it's something that we're being strategic about. Or we're not just doing it too often and we're trying to basically feel that burn as much as possible. We're paying attention to progressing those main movements over time in our workouts and not implement, implementing a ton of supersets and drop sets and all of that because those are just gonna be harder to track over time. So again, supersets can be a great time saver if you're implementing them properly within your programming. They can add more variety, especially at the end of the workout when you're trying to kind of just finish off with that pump work. Um, they can also be fun, right? So that's another part of training. We have to make sure that it's fun and enjoyable. So I like to incorporate different types of supersets for my programming for the Flex Fam and adding in different things that can add more variety to the programming and just more enjoyment overall at the end of the workout. Women, we believe.